Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Yeah, uh, this is a weird one. It's I don't think it's Dismal per se, but Disney is using Lego Star Wars on Disney Plus to promote the Galactic Star Cruiser. Yes, they're having a special coming out on August 5th on Disney Plus, and it is the Lego Star Wars Summer Vacation Special. And the commercial they ran for, there's two commercials actually, another one has Obi-Wan, because they're probably promoting Obi-Wan because they're Obi-Wan show. But the one they ran, um, that everybody was talking about was this one, and it starts out, they're going to the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel, the Halcyon. <laughs> of course they are, of course they are. Book a trip, kids. Mm -hmm. Don't beg your parents for a $6,000 vacation. Right, and vacation, you're talking less than two days. Two days. Part of a part of a vacation, right. yeah. So um, we're gonna talk about this. I mean, look, this is not the first time Disney has done something like no. this. Pretty much every time they open a new park or a new attraction, they always get, you know, like they used to do sitcoms back in the yep. 90s. They'd always send the sitcom family to Disney World or and, whatever. And I, know. I thought of that immediately too, except here's the thing. We, are we being told by like Twitter and all these people that, that that makes a show shitty, that the 80s shows were just cartoons or commercials for cartoons and that made them a terrible show? Yeah, right. So by that argument, wouldn't the show automatically be terrible because it's shilling uh, a product? You would think. And Lego toys and, and a hotel? You would think. Well, Twitter says that it is. Unless, oh wait, it's another Twitter double standard. Yeah, so let's let's talk about this. Uh, the reactions are not, not great. Um, the Lego Star Wars stuff though, you know, it can be fun um, sometimes, but it is obvious that Disney is using it more and more to promote stuff. I mean, they, they did with the holiday special. Mm -hmm. Now they're doing the summer vacation special and they're pushing the house in. That is Disney. It's all, you know, brand cross promotion. And this is how you cheapen a brand. It's how you cheapen a brand. This is basically, I mean, look, this is a, an indication that uh, Star Wars is a Disney thing now. They're, they're being, you know, they're part of the Disney family. That's it. It's part of the uh, brands. Yeah, I don't, think you, want, I don't think you want to to be part of the Disney family. Anyway. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over, what are we at, 273? Yeah. 273,000. Uh, check out clownfishtv.com. We're going to be ramping up our, our blog content over there. Uh, if you're missing notifications here, go over there and hit the notification bell, and you'll, you'll actually get notified. Right. So anyway, um, this is coming from piratesandprincesses.net, another website that we run. And this is uh, your article. So tell me about the Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel commercial. That's what it is. I mean, they're like, oh, it's a Lego Star Wars summer vacation show. And it's going to have music by Weird Al. And, and they have some of the actors back. They got Billy DeWilliams and Anthony Daniels and some other people to do this show. And you go to watch the trailer. And then right off the bat, it takes you into a uh, commercial for the for the house scene. And I mean, I noticed right off they're giving Finn the Luke Skywalker treatment. Yeah, they keep doing this. They turn Finn into a joke. Now, you know, Finn was kind of jokey in the first movie, but they really doubled down on it in Yeah, they're the Last making Jedi him like and... kind of like a doof. Yeah, he is a doofus. He's he's the he's the the black comic relief sidekick. I know. You know? And and it's and... like people wanted to see him as a Jedi and now they're doubling down on the the sidekick bull, bull crap. Yeah. Now again, you know, Lego Star Wars, they do they do tend to poke fun at the characters. Oh more, yeah, but no. it still is like that's that's the origin. It's like he's 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 comic relief. And I'm yeah, sure this is just part of the show. I'm sure yeah. the whole show isn't going to be this. No. But they have Poe. They give they find a list of all the activities, and he starts rattling off all the yeah. activities on the Star Cruiser. Yeah, private bridge tour, hollow Spock tournament. Yeah, and it's all the stuff that they have on this ship. And then he mentions the quick bite in the Crown of Coroya dining room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then they're talking about the uh, walk around the sun deck, which is the open air uh, atrium in yeah. Florida. So I mean that's that's the thing. It actually, it actually uh, uh, feels more like a commercial, like a blatant commercial. Like here's all the features. Here's all yeah, the features. Yeah, he goes on. There's some more. He goes on more. He's like, I can schedule five minutes for relaxation. Oh my but god. But you know what? That's that, they make a joke about that. That's why it's like going to Disney now. Oh, it is. Yeah. Um. So everybody's and, punching each other. Yeah. yeah. And then it's like, and then we can play in between shuffleboard and the engineering room experience. The engineering room. People were joking. They said Rose Tico got more more lines in this special than she yes, got in yes, episode they nine. Did. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. Um, definitely, uh, definitely commercial. People were 
responding to it though you said that yeah uh, these are some of the comments so there's a lot of people who were like happy about it yeah yeah but these are just a couple i mean there i'm sure there's a lot more now because this is this morning but they're talking about like it feels as if this is just one big commercial for the galactic star cruiser hotel lego star wars is my childhood always look forward to the holiday specials i mean squid king yeah. was like constantly playing lego star wars when he was like three mm -hmm. maybe younger um rose got more dialogue in this than rise of skywalker I'm still excited to see this Lego Star Wars summer special in less than two weeks. Are they literally advertising the new Star Wars Hotel at Disney World? Yes. Yes, they are. Like, that Finn seems to be getting more of the focus in this. I think so, because the other ones had focus on other characters. Like, that Finn seems to be getting more of the focus in this, yes, uh, but not in China. Not in China. Uh, so, love all Lego Star Wars specials, just fun little adventures for the fans. Just look at these activities. They aren't even trying to disguise the fact that it's an ad. That's that that jumped out to me. It was like, look, you know, here are all the features. Uh -huh. that, that's kind of like again, this is like, you know, back in the nineties, they used to do it with the, you know, a lot of sitcoms, the TGIF sitcoms. Yep. Everybody, everybody would go to Disney World, you know, and and they would be like, Oh, look at this ride, look at that ride. Oh, look at the parade. Now we're in a watch. we're in a parade that we're in that no, you know, yeah. that doesn't actually happen. Um, it's corporate synergy, it's worse. So they have the one person. People complain about cross promotion of the toy based spin off cartoons. Spoiler if those cartoons in the 80s that were looked upon with beloved nostalgia were to drive toys and merchandise sales, yeah, Yellow Prime, but you're not allowed to do that now. Twitter has decided that if you do that, that automatically makes a show shit. Yeah. So this show clearly is good by default, it's going to be shit because that's the new rules by Twitter standards. Wow, just an ad for their failed team cruise. This is the biggest corporate scam I've seen in a while. What a way to trick kids into begging their parents to take them to a $5,000 hotel. It's literally a commercial. A crummy commercial. Is the hotel doing so poorly that they need a Lego commercial? Well, I I, I did bring up the bookings. Uh, they are. They're not. Well, yeah, I was going to mention that. Here I go. Because yeah. I actually yesterday had just looked into this because I was like, I wonder how the Star Cruiser is doing. Not well. So this is as of this morning. These are what's available. We have dates in July, guys. This, this week are available. Oh, my God. Wait, August, that's a weekend. That's a weekend in right. July. August is mostly booked up, but it's been for months. Okay, yeah. so up until August, we've already seen this. I mean, July and August have been booked up for a long time since it opened pretty much. Yeah. But then you go into September, wide open. October, November, December. Like, no one's booking this. Because it's five thousand, six thousand dollars, and we're headed into a recession. And it's one and done. It's a one and done thing. It's based on sequel trilogy Star Wars. It doesn't even look like Star Wars. It looks like Star Trek. Yeah, there are a lot of reasons. A lot of reasons why you're not going to burn no. five to six thousand dollars on this thing. Yeah, but I mean, so, so right off the bat, we got the special coming, and they use it as a commercial for uh, their Star Cruiser. They have another commercial out there that has Obi Wan in it, and they're because they're promoting their Obi Wan show. Yeah. Um, I'm sure the entire show isn't like that because they go to a beach and Weird Al Yankovic has a song, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot more to it. I don't think this is it. I I, I kind of would like this. I kind of wanted to see it, and then they start out the commercial, and I'm kind of like, oh. That's, you know that's so Disney though. I remember the uh, really cringy Splash Mountain special they did. Yes, back in the and people complain 80s. about the toys and yeah. stuff in the eighties, but they didn't make it an obvious commercial. No, a lot of times it it was weird because like you know when you're an eighties kid, now sometimes it'd be very obvious like oh there's a new season of the show and they're introducing all these new characters because that's the new toy line. Right, but they it was organically done in the show. A lot of times it was not yeah. so much in the sitcoms. It was pretty obvious. We're going to Disney. Here's the Disney stuff you could do at Disney. You know, except for Serpentor and GI Joe. I was really confused as a kid. It's like yeah, everything's going fine. Cobra Commander's running Cobra, and all of a sudden. All of his cronies decide they're going to get together and build a new leader because we have a new leader yeah. action figure. Okay, I'll give you that one. It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure, right? I mean, really, they would probably fight amongst themselves for who gets to be the boss. Destro would probably want to take over. No, no, no. They're all going to get together and just make a new leader. Yeah, no, I'll give you that one. But it's like that's weird completely science. removed from this. It was like weird science. Because <laughs> they had a whole new action figure line. They had to, you know. Right, they had to pimp that. Well, yeah. we got a whole new hotel that they're not paying for and no one's booking. And again, I, I have said, and I'll say it again, and I'm still waiting for it. Cause I'm, I'm betting they do this. Um, they've got a problem. October, November, December are really, really open. September is pretty much open, too. And the Disney Cruise Lines, which is, this is more like a Disney Cruise Line experience than a regular hotel. Yeah. They do special holiday events. So I'm still waiting for the Life Day event at Christmas. And some, you know, they, they did the haunted Halloween event or Lego movie. So they'll probably do that one for like something tied into that for September, October. Now, some people would pay good money for a shirtless Kylo Ren ghost to appear. 
in your um, room at night? I, you would? I wouldn't. Oh, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't either. Yeah, but some people would. Um, but a lot of people are going to argue that's not fair because there should be a shirtless Ray also. They could do that in some countries, maybe. It's a, it's a family It's a family hotel. Yeah, well, if, if they take a vacation to a beach in Europe, maybe you can see shirtless Ray. Your luck, they'll probably just get shirtless whatever character uh, Winar Yankovic is. Hey, you know, there's shirtless, wait, there's shirtless. Shirtless Holdo. Wait, there's shirtless, uh, where's my article? There's shirtless stormtroopers or something. Let me show you. In the poster, look. We got a short, we got a short shirt. Well, this one's wearing a, a woman's swimsuit. Okay, so that's a female one. And look, there's a shirtless one there. Okay. All right. The cantina, they have the cantina band because they have, uh, they have Obi-Wan going in there. This is Weird Al right here, is it not? Yeah, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's and Weird Al. And and Leia, and then this is like Ben. And yeah, there's Obi-Wan. No Luke, but we got Vader and the Emperor. Because, you know, Vader makes sense to bring in when you don't bring in the... We got Luke and Han, but no... Or Leia and Han, no Luke. No, that's a different show. Oh, wait, is this... No, that's Rey. That's Rey. Nobody cares. They just kind of like... You know, so they just kind of like sidelined her. They just kind of put her... They did. She doesn't say anything, really. No. I'm not complaining. So, anyway. Anyway. It that, is what it is. It is what it is. It's a Disney product. Star Wars is Disney product. That Consume. Gonna... Consume the product. Don't ask questions. And ask then book a trip to the Star Cruiser Hotel. Book a trip. Kids... Beg your parents for you know back in the day. That's the thing too. They're talking about eighties toys. Back in the day, we would beg our parents for a five or ten dollar toy. Right, there's a difference between five or ten dollar toy and five thousand dollar <laughs> yeah, six thousand right? dollar vacation. Like I'm gonna yeah yeah. That doesn't even count travel expense, food. I mean, you get food on the ship, but it's like less than two days, and you have to pay to get there too. Yeah yeah. Or so, souvenirs and everything else. During a recession, so good luck with that. Yeah. Good luck with that. Anyway, we gotta wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Okay.